Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Ask GPS Show Season 2. In today's episode, we have a very special, very important guest with us. And so if your hands are not busy, please join me and make welcome Dr. Ruby M.O.P. Should I say I'm shy? <laughs> Welcome, Ma. Thank you very much. Thank Ma, you. How, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good. I am feeling good. High on the Lord. High, <laughs> <laughs> High in the spirit. Yeah. Oh yes. We it's, are so it's, happy it's, to have thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. To be with the Fee mm. in Ba. Mm. <laughs> my 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 level has increased. I'm so humbled. <laughs> It's, it's a privilege. I, I don't so take it much. for granted. Thank you Thanks for so having much. me. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank so you. please, Ma, can you introduce yourself to us? Okay. Like she said, my name is Ruby Emelike, a practicing medical doctor, a content creator on YouTube, a, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a teens coach too. Yeah, teens coach. Yeah. Then what was the name of your YouTube channel? Okay, uh, Dr. Ruby Emelike on YouTube, yes. Alright, so yes. you've met our guest, and so you should check out on YouTube, Dr. Ruby Emelike, and don't forget to subscribe. And yes, if you're here to subscribe to this particular YouTube channel, please. GPS with Fitting, but please click the button and subscribe, and also share this video. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in today's episode, we are discussing a very important topic. The theme for this season, the second season of the GPS Ask GPS show is sexual purity and in this episode we are going to be answering questions on the topic pornography and let me put this out there before we start the question and answer session we are we understand that there are a lot of us that are going through hard times on this particular issue and so it's our desire that before the end of this video that we would have learned what pornography is we would have learned the effects with the negative effects the spiritual um, God's view on pornography, how pornography can affect us negatively, if it is right or wrong, what the Bible is saying about it, and if you have been going through that addiction, how you can come out from it. So stay tuned to the end of this video and make sure you watch to the end because God has a lot in store for you. So my once again, welcome. Thank you very episode. much. Thank you. All right, Ma. So let's start with the concept first. What okay. is pornography? What do you understand as pornography? All right. Okay. So pornography could uh, let let me not go medical by saying could be defined as well. Pornography is um, any material. It could be virtual or it could be printed uh, that contains explicit images of uh, uh, naked people or uh, sexual activities that is intended to create sexual ar ar arousal. Okay, so what, what are the different, talk about sexual arousal, what are the different sources that one could get into this pornography? Okay, I said before they could be printed or they could be virtual. So they could come from, um, you could have magazines or books, erotic novels. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember them when we were, when I was small, I remember Mills and Boom, everybody was crazy <laughs> about it. So you have erotic novels, you have, um, you can also have videos, movies, films. Yes, they, these things could also be sources of pornography. And also, there's this other part that we don't usually add, which is the part of human beings putting out themselves. You know, you don't need materials again, you don't need paper, you don't need to go to any uh, site to see these things. You just need to come out and you will see certain human beings helping you out. Uh, in a negative way, actually. Okay, so these are the different sources of pornography that we have now. All right, so on this last point you mentioned, viewing people yeah. that are exposing different parts of their body, is it wrong for us? I mean, these are things that come to us, we don't go to them most yeah. times. So is it wrong, both for the people that we are seeing on the road, the billboards we are seeing, and then we intentionally go into viewing those things, maybe through movies or through magazines. Is it wrong for us to watch nude people? This, this is a yes or no um, question. So first of all, is it wrong? Before we start talking about the why of the yes or the no response. So is it wrong for us to watch nude people? Yes, it is. Okay, so the answer is yes. So my why? Okay. Why is it wrong? There are different effects that pornography can have on humans. Okay, first of all, we need to understand that 
John 10, 10 says something, that the devil comes to kill, to steal, to destroy. So have these three things at, at the back of your mind. I would also want you to note that pornography is a tool being used by the devil to get people. It's a tool for mass destruction by the devil. It's, it, it's, it's something he is intentionally doing and recreating as the days go by. Okay, so now, first of all, pornography is destructive and addictive. Okay, there, there are several ways you can look at it. And I know people that have gone through these things. And in my own little way, I've had certain challenges about these things. Okay, first of all, you see that you are not thinking of any other thing but how to get how to satisfy the urge. Pornography stems from uh, a need to satisfy a certain desire, sexual desire. You feel that there is something wrong with you. You feel that there is a, there's this vacuum you need to fill. And you think that watching people act sex, they are not having sex. Watching people act sex is going to satisfy you. But that's a lie. What it does is to destroy you piece by piece. It gets you, it traps you, and then it continues to break you down. James chapter 1 verse um, 13, I don't know if I'm very correct with the verse now, says something about sin. That sin is progressive, yeah. you get. It starts with your desire, it progresses to the act, and then it tells you that the aim of sin is to murder you, to destroy you. So that's what pornography wants to do. It's not going to let you go. Pornography is never going to break, say, okay, I think I'm done with this guy, let him go. No. Mm -hmm. He's going to ensure that he, he makes nothing. He, he destroys you so that you can't get peace. peace, but he takes his time. Yeah. You see people tell you that I've been addicted to pornography for 20 years, 15. It happens. I've seen people who, and they can't, it's just as if it's, is, is a scar on them that it, it, they can't bring it out. Yeah. So these things happen. So it's destructive, it's very, destructive. The, the word is very addictive. They start on it, they can spend four hours, three hours watching people act sex. I say act sex because it's not real. Now sex was ordained by God mm. to be seen, to be felt, to be experienced in marriage. Anything outside of marriage, any sex, outside of marriage is illicit and illegal. As believers, that's how we see it. Okay? Now, what pornography does is to give you a fake, a fake representation. These people are acting these things. They're not having sex. Sex is not just the action. These guys are acting these things. They are not just, they're not having fun. They're just acting things for you, just like people go to act Nollywood yeah, movies. That's just only... how it is. For the, they're not interested. Once they just finish and then they go their ways. The next person comes and whatever script, these they things can... are written as scripts. So we watch them and we get to believe that ah, this thing is possible. Several acrobatics that they mm. do in, 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 in the pornographic films that is possible. And then it takes you the, to the point where you have this mindset that this thing is possible. We can do this. And that's so, how we should do. Exactly. And you begin to now, when it gets to the point of marriage, you begin yeah. to look for a man that can that's meet exactly. those needs. Exactly. And then you get into marriage, you see that the, the, the husband you married can't do that. And you say, no, this thing is going to end. This is not the expectation I had. So pornography helps you build false fake. expectations, fake expectations. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that is that. And then another point is that pornography takes you, it causes you to enter into depression mm -hmm. with the sole aim of bringing you to isolation. Mm -hmm. Now, see how the devil acts. He wants to take you away from an environment that is going to help you grow mm -hmm. and take you to a point where you are alone. And then he knows that he has gotten you. A point where you don't have help, nobody can reach out to help you. Mm -hmm. And then he brings you there and he destroys you. Mm -hmm. So that's what pornography does. Pornography brings you, you see that for each time someone wants to watch pornography, you go and lock yourself in a mm -hmm. room. You, you don't watch it where people are. You, you, it gives you this mindset that I need to be alone to enjoy this thing. And then you stay there for hours, you've not come out. Or well, let's talk about the resources you spend while watching pornography. You spend your data, you spend your money. You can even go to the extent of borrowing to buy data, mm -hmm. borrowing to, to subscribe to a channel. You can get to the point of stealing money mm -hmm. to buy data. I don't know if you understand. So you see, if you check it, you see the amount of money you spend to, 
to, to fund pornography is too much. That if you were doing a research project in school, you wouldn't want to spend that amount of money. That's exactly. to tell you how bad it is. So I've not seen anything good from pornography. I've not seen anything I can say, okay, this is great. This is one good thing about pornography. I've searched and people say pros and cons of, of pornography. I've not seen any, any good thing that I can say, okay, because of this, you can go into pornography. I've not seen. Okay? So that's that. So are they, does it have a spiritual implication, spiritual effect on us as well? Yes, it does. Okay. I mentioned the point of isolation. Now, it takes you away. At that point, you are not thinking. The aim of pornography is to fill your mind that you do not think about anything mm -hmm. productive or anything. You, you don't even have time for God. Mm -hmm. The only thing you are thinking about is how to satisfy this desire. Now, let's, uh, let's look at 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. It says something. I'll just start from the B part. The B part talks about God. It says... Your body is for God and not, it specifically said, not for any immoral sexual activity or illicit sex. The body is for God and God is for the body. God is supposed to sanctify and purify the body. Now you would say, when I'm watching pornography, I'm not, there's no business with my body. I'm not touching my body. But that's not it. The body comprises of every part of, like my eyes, they are part of the body. The my mind, my head, so. they are part of the, everything about me is inside this body that belongs to God. So you can't say it's my body. It's not your body in the first place. You get. And the scripture has said the body is for God and is not for any moral sexual activity. So it means while I'm watching pornography, I am messing with my mind, which is part of the body. So I am disrupting the reason why God made me. And my body is not glorifying God. You understand? Mm. So that's, it is wrong. So, uh, pornography is wrong from every angle you look at it. Biologically, mm. medically. Now, what sex does is, while having sex, normally while having sex, it releases dopamine. Mm. And what dopamine does is to make you feel good. Yeah, the okay. Good yes. So that's what it does. Now, while watching pornography, too, funny enough, it also releases dopamine. And it releases it in... Uh, you know, while watching pornography, after one, you continue, you stay on it, so dopamine is constantly released. What happens is, other aspects of your brain, they see that, okay, since we are not being used, they are there suppressed. and they are suppressed. While it's just dopamine that you keep releasing. So you see, your productivity reduces, mm -hmm. creativity reduces, you don't have interest in any other thing but pornography. Mm -hmm. That's how it's just like, in fact, pornography is a cage. You are there and you are alone. That's all. Exactly. So you just like when someone is hungry, the only mm. thing in the person's mind is food. food. So every other thing, even in class, you won't pay attention to what they are food. saying. It's just food. And until you get that food, there's nothing else that matters. And it's the same um, thing in this case. So the person wants that satisfaction. Um, and will do anything to get it. To get anything. It. You know another dangerous thing about por pornography? It does not just stop at watching the scenes and then you put off your phone no no you start with watching the scenes i tell people that images are seeds that are created so these images register in you you think they don't register but it's when you put down the phone and you are lying down they begin to replay on their own that's yeah. they are landlords in your mind free of charge rent free mm -hmm. so now they are there and you will get to a point where you are tired and you will say, let me even try this thing that these people are doing. You know, you started with exactly. this, just let me just watch. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not disobeying God. I'm not doing anything with my body. You will get to a point where you say, let me, oh yeah, let me try out this thing. And funny thing, the devil will come and tell you, just masturbate. Masturbation, you're not doing it with anybody. So mm -hmm. it's not, there's no sin about it. You start with masturbation. And then... After some time, you get there and say, no, let me try with somebody. somebody so it is it progressive. Good. It never yeah. stops at just watching clips. No. And the dangerous thing is that these guys have now categorized them. They are different, cat <laughs> they are different categories. Just as you go to Netflix mm -hmm. and you see action, comedy, all those things. You also go to this site and you see several categories. Mm -hmm. Can you, you can't even, the thing that controls pornography will not allow you to just watch one category. Mm -hmm. You will find a way to fund yourself watch to watch them. all of them. Okay. So you see your whole, you, 
So it gets as bad as someone can spend almost 20 hours watching pornography. So if you spend 20 hours out of 24, what else is left? How can you be productive? So from all aspects, it's obvious that there's nothing good about it. Mm -hmm. And just like she said, the devil wants to isolate you, to destroy you. Mm -hmm. My dad will always use that phrase, isolation for destruction. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he's doing it intentionally because it's after your soul. Your soul. You quoted John 10, 10, the devil comes but to, came only to steal, mm -hmm. to kill and destroy. destroy. So he will steal away your joy, mm -hmm. steal away your happiness, mm -hmm. the time you're supposed to spend with people. Mm -hmm. He will now kill you and mm -hmm. destroy your soul. That's right. So his aim is your soul. Mm -hmm. He's after your soul. Mm -hmm. And that is where we have to be very, very intentional about this. Yeah. So Ma, is it right to watch nude people in movies? And we talked about um, looking at people, mm -hmm. people that are not properly dressed, that are indecent. Mm -hmm. um, now we see these things in the movies. Normal movies we're supposed to watch to gain lessons from, learn, some people use movies to learn language, English and all that. Mm -hmm. Now we see that in these movies, we, they are nude people. Mm -hmm. So for a Christian who is trying to be seen mm -hmm. in this evil world, mm -hmm. what is your advice for this person? How should we you know, avoid those kind of movies? What should we do? Even when we don't know that this movie has a sex scene and we just bump into it, what should we do? Should we just go on and watch these things or are there suggestions on how we can you know, stay clear okay. from need movies? The, the, the answer to the first question, you said, is it right for me to yeah. watch yeah. sex scenes no or nude? It's totally wrong. I mentioned before that pictures, images are seeds. Okay. You don't just see them and they, they pass and then you forget them. No, They come back. They have a purpose. They come back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. they, they will definitely come back to tempt you for more. So the best thing is just to stay away. Job chapter 31 verse 1, Job said something. He said, I've made a covenant with my eyes not to see a naked woman or not to look, sorry, not to look lustfully at a woman. He was that serious. He was intentional. He said, I've made a covenant. A covenant is a bond. I have decided with my eyes that I will not look at a woman lustfully. So it's an intentional thing. You see them, you pass. It goes as, I know someone that said, that for any lady who is on his contact that he sees their status or their story on Facebook and he begins to see sexual where you expose your bodies, that he blocks you so that he won't say for his peace of mind. He goes that far. The devil is going so far to get our souls and the right thing is for us to go so far to keep our souls. Yeah. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, number one, before you watch a movie, I know we, we like watching movies to relax. But how bad will it be that you are trying to relax, but you are further putting your soul into destruction? If you go to Netflix, I'm using Netflix because maybe you will understand, or even YouTube, there are movie descriptions. Now, some of them will describe, will tell you 16 plus, rated 13 plus, 18 plus, and they will tell you their nudity, sex, violence, comedy, this one. If you see movies and they explicitly tell you this and this, just leave it and be passing for your peace of mind. Yeah. Don't go and be for me, hard man, hard man. You won't. Yeah, okay. Don't. It's, this thing is not. Don't. Scripture says in James, we are tempted by our desires. Yeah. What those pictures do is to build your desires to now bring up the cascade of sin. So don't even tempt yourself. Once you just see, just turn your back and be going. Jesus, when they wanted to stone, there is a point you have to get to and you turn your back and be going. Just turn it. Don't don't bother trying to prove any point to the yeah, devil yeah, that you yeah. can overcome. Just turn your back. You did not see any description. You started the movie and you are seeing one set scene and you say, maybe that's all. No, brother. No, sister. Just turn and be going. It's not worth it. Your soul is more important yeah. than a movie that they acted. And the devil will want to build a stronghold in your heart. Mm -hmm. You would start first with the first view. Mm -hmm. Then the second video. Then next time you're now intentionally going, going back. back. Sometimes you may even go back to that same movie to watch, watch that Watch the same scene, scene again. That is the devil's plan. He's gradually getting your heart. Mm -hmm. And he wants to bring, build a stronghold because you know that that stronghold is going to be very difficult for you to on break. your own to destroy. Mm -hmm. So that's the point where you now come and you're now helpless and you're now addicted to it. He's gradually leading you to the point of destruction. So for us Christians, let's just stay clear. From those things you know there's, there's a point we didn't talk about in one of the effects of pornography pornography uh, dents your image 
Nobody knows you are in the secret, you are watching it. But you yourself, you don't, nobody who, go and ask people who have been addicted to pornography. They don't feel good about themselves. Before they watch the movies, they have, they, they want to satisfy a certain urge. Mm. But immediately after watching this uh, pornographic film or whatever, they immediately feel bad. Yeah. There's this guilt, there's this shame, they feel dirty. It's true. The only people that don't feel that is the people that have gotten to the point of no return. But many people yeah, feel this with just like scripture I said. But most people tell you that immediately they just feel like, oh my God, I'm so dirty. And that's the point where you, you, you feel like you're not worth it and then you wouldn't want to isolate with people because, yeah. because you feel like I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doomed. I should just be on my own. That's the devil. Yeah. Pornography can bring shame. It's, it, dip, it has a way of bringing you down that you lose your self-worth mm -hmm. yeah. and your self-confidence exactly. yeah okay so um it's pornography one is more like an issue of uncontrolled sexual desire or are there other sides to it are there other spiritual effects or implications to it or is it just a normal natural uncontrolled sexual desire okay for me i don't think it is just uh, uncontrolled sexual desire. No, it's more than that. Mm. I my opinion is, life is more spiritual than physical. We just people uh, when when we when I talk like this, people think I spiritualize everything. Like ah, take it easy. <laughs> but no, <laughs> and they call me mama. No, but the devil is too. He's doing his own work. He's he's, yeah. he's gingered about his motion, uh, about his mission rather, and. Okay, let's go back. Pornography, when you are watching pornography, the zeal you use in watching it, it's not just that you want to uh, watch something, no. If they bring a Nollywood film, you won't have that same zeal. Mm -hmm. And then when you start it, do you ever get tired? You don't. Even if you decide to stop, you get your phone, you lock apps, you try, you say, I'm not, you see this, this site, I'm not going to visit there again, and all that. You find yourself in the next 20 minutes going back like you never made a commitment. Mm. See, the, this, the pornography has the hand of the devil written all over it. Yeah. It's not just about uh, desires that can't be fulfilled, no. There is something else fueling it. That's why it can hold a man captive for years. There is something else fueling. That's why you will see somebody do a, just like gambling. Mm. So a man can go and yeah. sell his house to go and gamble. He will lose everything. He will lose one. He won't have money to eat. Yeah. But you go and sell his shoe just to gamble. gamble. And you're telling me it's just the need for to create. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you are, it, it's not there just is, there, is there, there is something else there is something else it's, it's obvious a man makes a decision right now just so that you see that is is a spirit fighting against the will of god for your life you make a commitment now say oh god help me i'm not going to do this he's just there laughing at you you mean after if you don't take strong decisions yeah. take the right steps it's you will see yourself falling, falling into it is a sin voice. It's a sin and sins are not physical. They are spiritual. They have a root. Sins have a root. They, there's a father that created the sin, which is a devil. So don't feel, uh, don't feel this is just, um, it's just me wanting to watch. So it's not like, it's not, you will see that most people that have been addicted to pornography will tell you that at a point they can't control it. It's uncontrollable. So if it's just to fulfill sexual desire, I should have the power to say no when I want to, when I don't want to. But you see that at a point you can't control, you just see your hand going to open a site to watch. Mm. So it's, there's a spiritual aspect to pornography. Exactly. And that is why the Bible said the God of this age has blinded mm. the minds of unbelievers. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit. Mm -hmm. It is the devil mm -hmm. that is blinding the minds of those that he has already held captive. Mm -hmm. So they won't even see the truth. You, won't, you might know that the right thing to do now is not to watch this thing. Mm -hmm. But because there's a spirit mm -hmm. following it, because the devil is backing you up and mm -hmm. pushing you and giving you that, oh, do it, do it, do it, your eye will be blinded mm -hmm. until you 
achieve you that are thing. done he turns his back and he and leaves he and leaves. you begin and to realize yourself now so it's not just a physical thing yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you see that if you are struggling to stop pornography you will notice one thing that before you do it if you are struggling before you watch the pornography there's this pressure like yeah, yeah, yeah. like you are fighting for something and you just keep seeing something like that is almost literally pushing yeah. you to do it and yeah it's not it's not a physical thing it's, it's not, not a physical thing at all it's not no. physical yeah no. Not. Well, the truth is that there are many persons that are into this already, mm-hmm. and the um, Bible said in Romans chapter eight. Now, therefore, there is no condemnation mm-hmm. for those who are in, in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus who yeah. walk not according to the to flesh. flesh, but according to the spirit. That means it's not God's intent for us to be condemned True. or feel bad. If you have been going through this, there is actually a remedy for you. Mm-hmm. So, now let's get to that point. Okay. How can someone who is already addicted to pornography mm-hmm. be delivered? How can that person overcome? Not the, the kind that um, maybe after one month or two months, the person goes back. back. How can the person be totally free? Because the Bible says that whoever the Son of Man sets free mm. is free indeed. Mm. That means there is a freedom that is free. That is mm. a the original, that is, the authentic yes, freedom. That will, that will make you never to go back again. Mm. So, how can one overcome? pornography okay you've answered part of it say whoever the son of man says <laughs> really. so that's that's the main that's the foundation of the this matter now mm-hmm. but the first thing is tell yourself the truth I, I i i always say that the first part of solving this problem is knowing the problem exactly. itself mm-hmm. so you have to tell yourself the truth see i have a problem with this and begin to seek help and the first person to go to for help is the father mm-hmm. is the holy spirit He's the one to help you. She made a, she, she quoted the scripture, whosoever the son of man sets free, you are setting of your freedom. Yeah. There's no going back in that one. So you see that the freedom you are looking for is not in creating human strategies, app block, writing, writing goals, I will, you, reading it to yourself, I won't do this, I won't do it. It's not in positive, this one, it's not a positive it's confession. Yeah, this one, speaking. this one needs action. It needs help. It needs God's help. It needs the Son of Man. It needs you accepting the freedom that the Father has made for you. So it needs you going to the Holy Spirit. And I said, this world, we're not supposed to live life without the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. We are supposed to live. We are supposed to partner with the Holy Spirit. We've been called into partnership. I was telling her a story before we came on set that a few days ago I had, I was discussing with a lady on the phone and she's way older than I am and I said something I didn't like. Oh, no, not that I didn't like it. I just said something and immediately there was a prompting. I heard the, the Holy Spirit told me, this is not right. You shouldn't have said it. Mm. And I just started feeling bad. I didn't ha- I lost my peace. I didn't have peace. I said, yeah, Kai, why would I have said that? And after the call, I didn't have peace till I, I sent her a message and apologized. She called me that she didn't have an issue with it. I told her, man, it's not about you. It's about, it's about me. It's about, I just, the Holy Spirit did not allow, and immediately I sent the message, I had okay. peace. So you see that the Holy Spirit is the one to help you. He's, he's not somebody we talk about. He's a person that is going to be with you through it. There is nobody, there is no temptation that can come near you when the Holy Spirit is there. He's the one that knows the right way to overcome things. He's the one that will hold you by your hand and lead you out of that cage. Mm-hmm. So you see, the first step, accept, you see, even salvation comes first by accepting the Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. So you need to accept that you need help. Go to the person who will give you help, which is Jesus, the Son of Man that we talked about. Then number three, please, Avoid your triggers. It's not that you are going to God for help and you're not also funding your own temptation. You know, there are times that you can fund, you can beg, you can help the devil to tempt you. Mm -hmm. So avoid your triggers. Avoid them totally. You know, going to sites, some friends that you do, you, you are, some people that you are friends with, probably some associations, some WhatsApp groups that they send things free of charge. You know, when these things start, you tend to find people that can supply you stuff. So when you break off, leave them. You know, you know how best you are tempted. Scripture says, let no man who is tempted say that he's tempted by God. We are tempted by our desires. So there are certain people that have agreed or accepted to be tools used to drag people into pornography by posting their nude pictures or their nude videos online. Please block them. 
Avoid anything that is going to move you back into that sin. Yeah. So avoid triggers, leave associations, leave friends that, that are going to bring, take you back to where you are coming out from. And then, crying to, to block those people. It's they not. Oh. Anybody that is not going your way is not permitted to, to jump into your car. Mm-hmm. It's not. Uh, I say my own way it is. Yeah. If we're not going on the same point, if we're not heading to the same destination, there's no need for me to hang around you. Mm-hmm. Because either you make me change my mind and follow you to your destination, or I make you change your mind and you follow me to my destination. So if you see issues with your friends, I'm not saying you should block every... No man is an island. We're not supposed to be isolated. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, you, there are people that are vehicles, that are vessels that the devil will be using to drag you back. My brother, leave them. My sister, let them go for some time till you develop fully and wear your immunity so that when they are talking, it bounces off. Till then, you need to be alone and work on yourself. You need the right association. People who will build you, people who will help you. You need accountability partners where it's not easy. I think we should say that, but it's not easy. Breaking off from pornography is not easy at all. There are several times where you say, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, and you see a, a, a great pressure to go back. But the right association will help you. People praying for you, people helping you grow, people supplying you scriptures to help build yourself. Please never, never feel ashamed to Mm-mm. open up Mm-mm. to anybody. Mm-mm. Especially when you know that this person mm. would help you. Mm. Do not feel ashamed because most times we have this pride or yeah. we have this... They will not come and know that I'm suffering that. from... Mm-mm. That's the that's a plot of the devil actually. He will yeah. tell you, what do you want them to know? Just cuckoo respect yeah. yourself. And, yourself. and as you are respecting yourself, you are dying. So please reach out to people who can help, who you trust that they can help you. Then again, another point is, you know scripture says, if you cast the devil out and there's still a vacuum there, the devil comes back to see there's a vacuum. He's going to go and call his kinsmen. Come on, see there's space. Come, let's dwell here. Come, let's dwell here. Now that's what, that what happens. You let go of pornography, you accept something else. So as you've let go of pornography and you have accepted Jesus, it is time to build a new addiction. Yeah. It's time to dwell on the word, to learn about God, to grow in him, to grow. And there are several ways you can grow through the study of the word, through prayer and a lot of things. The right so, kind of music mm-hmm. as well. And this music part, you know that almost everybody is singing about one sexual part mm-hmm. or another thing, one rubbish or the other one. Now you will say these things are just music, they're just lyrics, what's them? No. Now see how it happens. You are listening to a song. Just like when you're watching a movie. When you're watching a movie, you are seeing everything as it's being played out. But when you are listening to a song, the things are playing in your head. You are imagining Imagine them. Yes. I don't Imagine know if you understand. Words. You are imagining everything, what the person is saying, because the person might be telling a story with the song. Yes. So you are imagining the story itself. And then after you've stopped playing the song, the only thing the devil is going to tell you is, there's a way you can watch this thing for you. And then he takes you back. So you see that all these things, they are connected. They are just a chain of events. They are a circle that once you accept one thing, it leads to the other one. So the songs you listen to are important. You know when we say them, people think we are too spiritual. But we, you take up things that will feed you. So the songs you listen to, they're also feeding you. So I don't know whether they're feeding you positively or negatively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this takes intentionality. Mm-hmm. You have to be very, very intentional. True. The Bible said, guard your heart with all, all diligence. diligence. Because out of it comes the issues mm-hmm. of life. Any problem you're having is because of the information in your heart, how True. much you're trying to guard your heart. True. And the opposite, as Christians, as children of God, guard mm-hmm. your heart. Mm-hmm. So be intentional about what you watch, what you hear, what you do. Be intentional about breaking away from these things. And um, I also want to mention this passage. Um, the Bible said that the weapons of our warfare they are not canal. are not canal. They are mighty to the God pulling down of, of strongholds. strongholds. So that means we are not going to fight this mm. thing with normal weapons or mm. earthly weapons or just words or as you said, motivational speaking and then, um, you know, I believe, I do, I will mm-hmm. do this 
this and that. No, the weapons we are fighting are not canal. Mm -hmm. We need the power of the Lord to break us out True. from these addictions. True. And they are mighty. So no matter how deep you've gone into mm -hmm. it, don't say you've There's done it for 20 years mm -hmm. or 30 years or even you've done it all your life that you can't break out. No. It is mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes. If you know what a stronghold is, mm -hmm. how fortified the stronghold is. Do that the, in, no matter how many years you've done it, that the power of the Lord can break in that stronghold. And we trust the Lord as we are going to pray that God is going to deliver us. As many of us that are into this, mm. as many of us that the devil has held captive. You know, <laughs> it is the devil's prison that we are in yes. at the moment. And you probably have locked it with a very strong, mighty padlock. Exactly. But the power of the Lord can deliver you, can break that yoke. So we're going to be praying. And as we are praying, I want to release your faith. That the Lord is going to deliver you. That mm. that yoke is going to break. The scale is going to fall out from your eyes. The grip of the enemy. Is, the Bible. The, 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 there was a question that the Bible asked in Isaiah. Can the captive be, be taking you? Mm. Yes. So it, yes. Even, even the lawful captives of the mighty. Exactly. So the only man who is able to rescue a man from a strong man is a man who is stronger. Stronger than the strong man. Mm. Yes. And so we have the power of God that is stronger. Mm. And so, Mama, you'll be praying for us, Ma, and trust the Lord to grant deliverance to as many persons that are in the shame and yoke of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Amen. Father, we thank you. We Amen. give you all the praise. We thank you for your word that has come to us. We thank you for helping us know your mind concerning this topic. Lord, we pray for as many people who are suffering from this addiction. We pray for as many people who are locked up in the cage of the enemy. We pray for as many people who are suffering and struggling with addiction. Father, we know you are able to save and you are able to deliver. Lord, you have done it in our lives. That is how we know you can. Therefore, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we ask and we pray that the chains of addiction be broken. Amen. We ask and pray that the chains of addiction be broken. Amen. Even if they are just for a day. Even if they've lasted for years. We say in the name of Jesus they are broken. Amen. Father, for adventure there are still seeds that have been planted that are yet to born. We know Lord you are able to uproot them. Scripture says whatever my father has not planted in the name of Jesus right now they are being uprooted. Father we thank you because you have come to deliver them. Thank you because as many that believe right now that salvation has come to them, deliverance has come to them, light has come to their hearts. In the name of Jesus, we Amen. pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank it you, is Father. done. You're free mm. and you're free indeed. Indeed. Because indeed. yes, anyone the Son of Man said to is free it's and free. is free indeed. It's free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate you. Uh -huh. Thank you. And thank God for what He has done in your life. Hallelujah. Remain strong. Study the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Build yourself, mm -hmm. fill your heart with the right information, with the mm -hmm. word of the Lord. And Romans 12 to said, Be ye transformed the renewing of, of your, your mind. mind. So transform your mind mm -hmm. with the word of the Lord. Renew your mind. Mm -hmm. Those pictures that the devil placed in your mind, mm -hmm. it's time to remove them. Clean them. Place mm -hmm. them with the word of the Lord. Do a thorough cleanup. Hallelujah. Feed your mind in the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we trust the Lord to uphold you till the end. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So if you have questions on this topic, please drop it on the comment section we would definitely answer it mm -hmm. and please don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends there are many of them that are going through this thing and this will be an answer to their prayer mm -hmm. this will help them and deliver them and be a blessing to them so please share with your friends share with your families comment like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because more content more videos mm -hmm. will be coming this is just the beginning of great things that god wants Hallelujah. to do in our yeah. lives and so more of those are coming especially in this particular season of ask gps show we love you so much and we celebrate you mama do you have a final word for thank us? you for coming on thank you for being here with us thank you for watching god bless you god bless mm -hmm. you god bless you and god bless our host God bless her. God bless the GPS family. Mm -hmm. We thank God for what he's using her and the family to do. And we know that it's going to last for generations. Mm -hmm. And God alone will be praised Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to say a special thank you to you too, Ma. 
for Thank coming you. and for sharing this word. We have Thank really you. been blessed by you. you. And we trust the Lord to keep using you to bless many lives. Amen. Please, we'd like to invite you again, and we hope to have you in the house. Thank you. GPS is family. We are family already. Yeah. <laughs> so please join the family if you are yet to join yes, us. Yes, please. please do. And don't forget to go to her YouTube channel, Dr. Ruby M. Medike, and subscribe and watch her videos. Your life will definitely be blessed. Amen. Thank you all so much for staying to the end Thank of this you. video. Thank you. We love you. We, we love celebrate you. you. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Bye. We'll see you in the next episode.